always felt that there was greatness in my life. But back then I thought maybe it hadn't quite manifested yet. I can't fully explain it, but it was kind of like something inside of me was letting me know that I was not just the average Joe. And this feeling wasn't egotistical, neither was it something mystical. It was kind of like God was letting me know that somewhere down the line, he had a plan for my life. So I found the courage to get up and go and I pulled out my MacBook Pro and I started to write for the world to see, but that's when all the wilting began for me. See, the enemy wanted to sabotage me for no reason. People talked about me and laughed like I was a stand-up comedian and they pointed the finger while sitting on the fence and I couldn't help but take offence and the pain and embarrassment became so intense that I started to doubt and I lost all confidence in what God had already given to me. Like Ray Charles, I failed to see that I was actually good enough. But then the fear of failure paralysed me so much that I started to wilt as I turned myself away from the sun. Now when I say sun, I mean Jesus Christ, the one and only who gives me purpose. But I found myself stuck in reverse when I should have been in first gear, stick to the right path, the sun reminded me. But still I couldn't see God's story who really called to me to be. I wanted change but I felt stuck and hurt and the only change I could find was in the bottom of my purse, pounds and pennies and to make matters worse, if there could be any, I started to believe the lies of the enemy. Yep, he tells all sorts of stories about you. Maybe like me, you fail to recognise that these stories are all untrue. You see, the enemy wants to get into our minds, but I've searched his book from cover to cover to find that even though I'm on the battlefield, the war has already been won. And even though I feel defeated sometimes, I'm victorious through Jesus Christ, God's only son. You see, this autobiography of love is something that the whole world needs to read instead of negative comments on our news feed. You see, I've made up my mind to make sure that God's story goes down in history because his story is what God says about me. Just you wait and see. I'm defined by what God says about me in his story, not the lies of the enemy. I'm going to keep going.